This is why living under communism in Bulgaria is like living under elite. We have seen how personality vanishes, how individuality is destroyed, how the spiritual life of a whole people is corrupted. We have seen so many of those demonstrations which humiliate human dignity. People are expected to applaud this paltry mediocrity, Todor Jivkov, who proclaimed himself like a kind of a demigod. It might be said of this man that he served the Soviet Union much more than the Soviet services themselves. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and good night. How is the little princess? She missed you today. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Ah, and a shopshka salad too. You're getting better every day with Bulgarian food. <laughs> Not like your teacher yet. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to you on the radio today. You were very critical against them. I just told people the truth. They should know it. the big boss. You really stirred up a hornet's nest yesterday. All the papers are writing about you. Apparently half the population of Bulgaria was tuned in last night despite the signal jam. But I still have many enemies there. My friends told me they are out there to get me. 
You should let him know that I can steal bites. <laughs> What are you doing tomorrow? Me and the missus are thinking of having a small dinner party. Uh, it's Jivkov's birthday. I think I will just sit down and watch this puppet enjoy his parade. I see. Well done. Home. What's going on? I think someone followed me on the way home from shopping. I'm afraid, Georgie. Hello. Time's up, Georgie. They've already confiscated your brother's home back in Bulgaria. There's no need for anyone else to suffer. You know what the cost is. was my brother. He was talking fast because he was afraid that the conversation was being monitored. They confiscated our house back home. This is not going well. You need to stop. Stop writing these things. Find another job. Do it for me and the child, Georgie. Moliete. Zaradi Nas. Azte Obisham. Please, you need to understand. I love you. I love you too. But I need to go on, you understand? I am the voice of free Bulgaria. Do you love your job more than me? Us. They don't tolerate such criticism. They'll do anything to harm you. I'm sorry. Please, Annabel, you need to understand. I've come such a long way. In my country, these things happen to people like me every day. I cannot exist there. I cannot write my novels there. I cannot direct my plays there. I am free to do anything I want. Here. I'm sorry. I'll listen to you tomorrow. And every day. Let me go check the baby. I have to prepare for tomorrow. It's his birthday tomorrow. His birthday? Chivkov's.
Many times I have thought that one day everything will be known, absolutely everything will be known. In 10 years, 100, 1000 or 10,000 years, some computer programmed for the resurrection of everything which has existed will summon people, characters and circumstances for examination and bring everything concealed out into the open and cast light on buried secrets with no compromise, with no mercy. For many this may be comfort for others. <laughs>